The M.A. Chidambaram in Chennai is set to witness a high-octane clash of the titans, where on the one hand is a team that's eyeing their third ODI World Cup title, and on the other is one that has lifted the maximum number of ICC ODI World Cup trophies. Just like in 2011, a couple of good tournaments for India going into the World Cup, they in all likelihood will be missing out on their star opener, Shubman Gill. Australia, on the other hand, not underdogs by any stretch of imagination, will however be going in with just one frontline spinner in Glenn Maxwell on what could perhaps be a spinning track. They have injury worries of their own and Travis Head, who is sitting out, and of course, Marcus Stoinis' awaited recovery from his hamstring injury. Good thing, 1996 a World Cup winning coach, Dav Watmore has set up camp here with us at the Vion Studios for the next 40-odd days and he will be discussing the World Cup with us through and through. Dav, take us through tomorrow's right. fixture. You're playing 11. Yeah. We've talked about injury woes right now. In view of that, who yeah. do you see turning up at the crease tomorrow? Well, it's a blockbuster to start with, right? Every, what every Indian is waiting to see, the, their home team begin their um, competition tomorrow in Chennai. Mm -hmm. uh, against a very good opposition in Australia. So I've gone for uh, one, two, three uh, fast bowlers and uh, three spinners. So it, it looks something like uh, the Sharp, uh, Rohit Sharma. Unfortunately, as you mentioned, Shubman Gill not, um, is not well with uh, dengue fever. Ishan Kishan to open up with him. Mm -hmm. um, Virat Kohli, obviously, uh, Kale Rowell. I think um, Shreyas Iyer will play instead of Surya Kumar Yadav. Mm -hmm. That's um, an interesting choice. It there. is, yeah. Um, we should actually just pull up the graphics here of your playing 11 and if you could just take us through the lineup. Here, here we go. Is. Yeah. yeah, I've got Shreya Sai in that middle there and then uh, then after him, um, this is not, what you see there is not batting order obviously. Ra mm -hmm. uh, Ravindra Jadeja to bat after. Uh, Pahadik Pandya first, right, after Shreya. Then R Ravindra Jadeja, Ashwin, um, uh, Kuldeep Yadav, just uh, J Jaspreet Bumrah and Muhammad R uh, R Siraj. So that's three quicks, three spinners, and I reckon that's a good blend uh, from which they can get the opposition out. Very quickly, uh, how does Surakumar Yadav not feature in your squad? Yeah, look, it's it's either Shriyas mm -hmm. or Sky, mm -hmm. uh, and I'm gone for Shriyas from the first game because. Um, Whilst Surya Kumar Yadav is a is a very much a game changer and an impact player and can win you the game, so can Shreyas, but he's a little bit more safer mm -hmm. for this game for the first match, and I feel that they'll probably go for Shreya, but um, I could be wrong. Mm -hmm. If there is a change, I think I'll go for Sky. Sky will play instead of him, but that's my opinion. Um, the other the other one that may change. Um, is uh, Kuldeep Yadav? If they oh, want, oh, you would may okay. if they want another a safer option, mm -hmm. maybe they'll go for an all-rounder and shore up their batting a little bit more mm -hmm. in Shadul Thakur. But that's my eleven. I think that'll take the field tomorrow. Okay, uh, I on the contrary thought that these two really firing up right now, and mm. uh, they would have definitely reserved their spots in your squad. Yeah, Yadav, we feel. Mm -hmm will probably take some wickets, mm -hmm. but he'll also get knocked around a little bit. And the day that he doesn't take wickets, he'll still get <laughs> knocked around a bit. So that's the question uh, that the people who make those decisions will be talking about. And they'll, I'm sure they'll have some strong discussion. And I'm sure Rohit Sharma, the captain, will have a big say in it because he has to take them on the field. Um, so my opinion, I think they will keep Yadav, but if just in case they want to go for a little bit more batting, then shuttle. Right. All right. Now, men from down under, if you can just go across to Australia and see what Dav's 11 are. Yeah, well, they're mm -hmm. a pretty good team as well, and they've mm -hmm. had a, a, a good history in this competition. So I'm starting off also with three fast bowlers mm -hmm. and three spinners. And uh, I, I've got Zampa playing. I, I, I don't think he's unfit. Mm -hmm. um, so Adam Zampa comes in at number 11, mm -hmm. so the, the team would look like uh, Warner, Marsh, Smith, Labuschagne, Josh English I've got in there as okay. another batsman, mm -hmm. Glenn Maxwell, 
Alex Carey, the wicket keeper. Mitchell Stark is one of the quicks. Pat Cummings, the captain, who is another fast bowler. Could we just uh, uh, pull up that graphic as well so that... Hmm. Here we go. Yeah. yeah. Um, so we've, we're down to Cummins, Hazelwood and Zampa. Mm -hmm. Three fast bowlers, three spinners in that team. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, that's also enough flexibility there and variety for the captain to make the, the appropriate bowling changes given the condition of the, of the situation of the game. Uh, I'm tempted mm. to ask you, um, MH Adambaram turning track, uh, Glenn Maxwell, the sole spinner, really? Do well, you think Zamp if Zampa plays, mm -hmm. yeah. he's a good leg spinner. He's yeah. been one of the go-to bowlers that the Australians look to, to pick up wickets. And unlike Yadav, he bowls, most of the time he'll bowl his 10 and they have a lot of confidence in him. So, um, you know, the leg spinner is there. Um, uh, Maxwell is an off spinner, mm -hmm. and he's been having some good returns and given confidence to the whole team that he should be bowling his 10 overs. So okay. he's very much an all-rounder in that team. Okay. And if they want a, another spinner, of course, that Marcus Labuschon has been rolling his leg spinners over, and they've been, he's been um, given overs in the practice matches. Um, and in the uh, bilateral as well in South Africa. So that's what I think will take the field. Um, if there is a change, there's, there's not much really. Uh, Travis Head is not in I India at the moment. He's mm -hmm. recovering, doing his rehab in Australia. Um, so they haven't got much to pick from in terms of batsmen. Mm -hmm. Bowlers they have all around us. Marcus Stoinis, who, mm -hmm. is, who hadn't done anything in the practice matches because of that little hamstring, hamstring yep. strain. Uh, and then um, Sean Abbott is another bowler who can bat a little bit, could possibly force his way in a bit later. Mm -hmm. um, Dav, you've also picked out key battles that we can witness tomorrow yeah. between the two teams. If you could just take us through Yeah, those. I had a few of those. Um, I, I think you, you look at the captain, Rohit Sharma, mm -hmm. particularly now that Shubman Gill is not playing. Um, this guy's got a rich history in, uh, in one-day cricket. When he's on form, is very hard to stop. But um, you know he'll be matched up with this guy Mitchell Stark, who will be really chanting at the bit to make inroads. He didn't have the best of outings in the first game, but uh, he got another chance. Mm -hmm. um, oh, that was sorry. He didn't play the. F this is his first game. Uh, Pat Cummings um, also to a high order batsman, the one and only Virat Kohli, who's in a wonderful uh, vein of form. So I'm pretty sure that these two guys will be matching up against each other. Um, and Cummins will really need to be uh, on his ball, uh, on the ball, to not allow the Virat to give too much uh, freedom to uh, to set a to get a start. Anyway, Kale Rell, well, he's been out of the game for quite a few months with an injury, and came back and not bang, got a hundred. Yeah, what a player! He's really uh, lovely to watch too. He's another player also that when he bats, I'm watching because he's just so nice to mm -hmm. to watch. And being a middle order, he's going to be facing a, 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 a bowler who can take it away from the outside edge. Mm. And Adam Zampa is one who can do that, so yeah. he'll be matched up with them. Now, the other two, the two batsmen from Australia, David Warner, um, who can also be very destructive, yep. and <laughs> they will want to get him out early. Yep. You know, He's a little vulnerable with that outside edge, he nicks mm -hmm. it. And Justin Boomer, Just Brett Boomer, can take it away from his outside edge. So I think he'll need to watch out. Um, that's, that'll be a good battle as well. Stephen Smith, uh, very frustrating to bowl to. <laughs> his technique is something totally different. Um, and I reckon even if the, um, uh, the opening pair survives that new ball, I'm pretty sure they'll hold one of these fast bowlers back for Steve Smith when he comes in and I reckon that could be Siraj. Maxwell is another game changer. We all understand that. We all agree with that. Uh, impact player. And when he comes in, he's able to do all sorts. It's almost 360 degrees as well. Again, Ravindra Jadeja mm -hmm. is a little cunning bowler. Mm -hmm. And he also takes it away. But Maxwell can sweep. He can reverse sweep. Jadeja will have to be a little bit careful and you have to be, you know, pull, his, pull the, a lot of tricks out of his bag to ensure that Maxwell doesn't get away. 
Day All of right. my battles. Right. All right, Dav. So you have already served us a delectable dish that we are looking forward to watch in just some time from now. It is going to be India versus Australia at the MA Chidambaram Stadium. And of course, stay tuned to We on World of Cricket for all the updates from that all-important ICC ODI World Cup. Thank you.